Hi, this is Scott Kilos here, 6 Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video, as promised from the review video, I'm going to show you how to set up your TID radio, TDH3, in the three different operating modes that are available for this radio. As a reminder, this radio can be set up to function exclusively as an amateur radio, so it's locked into the amateur radio service bands or the ham radio bands. It can be set up uh, exclusively as a GMRS radio so that it will only operate on the 22 simplex channels and 8 repeater channels associated with the general mobile radio service. And of course if you set it up in mode number 3 that's what they call normal mode uh, which for them normal is full transmit capability from 136 all the way up to 600. Although there are some extra steps that you have to take to exploit some of those frequency levels but um, without further ado we'll go ahead and launch into this but I will tell you before you do any of this. If you have anything already programmed onto the radio, make sure that you back it up to whatever uh, whatever CPS that you're using to program the radio because you will lose all data that's been entered into the radio. When you change modes each time it does a full factory reset of the radio. So to start off what we're going to do is we're going to hold down the PTT button we're going to hold down the star button, which is the button in the upper right hand corner. So we hold those two down as we turn the radio on. And that's going to bring up this screen right here that shows three modes. Mode 1 ham, mode 2 GMRS, mode 3 normal. So let's select ham first. So we're going to press the 1. Now again, it gives you a reminder that all data will be uh, erased, so you want to be sure to back that up before you do so. If you're okay with that, go ahead and press the blue button for yes. Wait for just a second and it'll reboot. Welcome. Nice. Okay, we got the voice back, which I hate the voice, so I'm going to turn the volume down just a little bit. But it's showing 144.050 uh, in VFO, so that is an amateur radio uh, frequency. So let's go ahead and press the PTT and we're good to go. We're transmitting. So let's try something out of band. Let's try one, one. three, six, five, zero, zero. All right, let's try one. Cancel. And we got a, a nice cancel. Let's try GMRS frequency. Four, six, two, seven, zero, zero. Let's try that. Cancel. And we're canceled. So we are, the radio is currently locked into the amateur radio bands. Of course, you have full receive capability from 136 all the way to 600 megahertz, but it will only transmit in the amateur radio bands. Now, let's go ahead and turn it off and let's set this up as a GMRS radio. So we'll go ahead and do the same process of holding the PTT down and the star key while we turn the radio on. And now we go into mode two, so we press two. Again, the reminder that you're going to lose all data that's on the uh, the radio, so let's uh, go ahead and press blue for select. Welcome. Okay, good to go. So it's coming up 136050. Of course, uh, you're going to get nothing there. So um, what I'm going to do, rather than type something into VFO, I want to show you what you get with the GMRS mode. So let's go into memory mode. Channel mode. Or they call it channel mode. Okay, so right here we see GMRS 1, which is um, a channelized GMRS frequency. And of course we transmit there, and that's 462.5625. And as we go through here, you'll see. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. This is going to reveal, I'll hold the button down here and take us all the way up to 22. So we have the all 22 simplex frequencies are programmed into the radio. And then beyond that, we have. 20. We have our eight um, DIY repeaters, uh, to borrow a term from Baofeng, but we have eight repeaters already set up so that you can go in and add the relevant CTCSS tones to make them operate as a repeater. So, um, as you can see, we have a radio that is GMRS, and, and of course it's locked into the GMRS band, so it's not going to transmit out of band. So if you're concerned with legality in either direction, with ham or GMRS, this radio will do both. So let's go ahead and take it into, uh, into full fun mode, and in this case we're going to do that same thing. Hold the PTT down, hold the star key down, turn the radio on, and let's go into what they call normal mode. Let's press that blue key to confirm. Welcome. Okay, we're in VFO, and of course it should transmit on 136050, and it does. Let's put in a, a GMRS frequency. Four, six, two. Turn that down. Seven, zero, zero. 
Of course, we have a GMRS uh, simplex there. And let's try something uh, a little off the beaten path. One, five, one, eight, two, zero. Of course, you can play around with MERS there. Now, something I will tell you. Um, let's say I want to try uh, something in 1.25 meters. So let's try... Two, two, three, five, zero, cancel. Okay, we get a cancel there. Now, there, is, there are three additional steps if you want to exploit the additional frequencies in the range. As I told you, this is going to work from 136 all the way up to 600. But in order to use some of the... Uh, more esoteric frequencies, so to speak. You're going to have to go into Menu, and let's arrow down. So, uh, to transmit above 500 megahertz, you need to enable that. So, we press that, and... Confirm. Okay, and let's go ahead and move down to 350 and above, and let's press that, turn that on, and that would be 350 to 500, by the way. Select Confirm. that. And then let's move down to 200. So 200 to 350, that's going to be your 1.25 meters. So let's go ahead and hit that. Turn that on. Confirm. And let's exit out. So now let's try 223500, and it should work. And it does. Uh, so now let's try something above 500. So let's try... Five, 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 zero, zero, zero. And, of course, it works. Now, what you can use above 500 is... Well, there's not a lot of there's not a lot of stuff like MERS and GMRS in that range, and I will caution you as I caution everybody that has a radio set up for expanded transmit, and that is with great power comes great responsibility. You want to make sure that if you're using this, you're not using it on a frequency that's going to interfere with any public safety frequencies or business operations, etc. Uh, this would be for emergency purposes only. Having that capability on your radio can be helpful in, emer in an emergency because, as you know, FCC does have an exemption for valid emergencies, and valid emergencies is not, oh, I have night blindness and I feel funny. A valid emergency would be some kind of accident, something involving possible um, serious injury, bodily harm, that kind of stuff, accidents, natural disasters, etc. Um, so that's about all the litigation I'll do on, on how to use uh, expanded transmit, but understand that abusing that only hurts the radio community overall uh, and can, you know, end up getting you in a, a decent amount of trouble, so be careful with that. But those are the three different operating modes on the radio. So as promised, beyond this, I do have a number of other videos planned for the TDH3 uh, to give you just a, a, a little bit of an update since the review. I have not been able to put this radio down. It has been with me pretty much constantly now since I received it a couple of weeks ago. And I'm fascinated by this radio, um, which is crazy because it's, you know, uh, again, I, I have a lot of, I guess, what you could call better, more sophisticated equipment to use. But uh, in terms of a, God, a sub $50 radio, this thing is just absolutely amazing. So look for more videos to follow. And I believe the next one is going to be a direct head to head comparison between the TDH3 and the TDH8 to see, because I've already had a lot of questions, which one should I buy? Well, I'm going to try to answer that. And then I'm also going to do sort of a sub $50 challenge to show you what else this is up against um, at the at the below $50 price range and some other options uh, for those folks that are looking for a radio in that range, but also illustrating why this is probably, well, not probably, this is definitely still, in my opinion, the best thing you can buy for under 50 bucks. So with that, I'll thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott, Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.